Officials at a morgue in the Sierra Leone capital of Freetown say the death toll from mudslides has now reached 500. The president's called for seven days of mourning starting today and more heavy rain is expected, as our correspondent Rebecca Williams told us with this update. Uh, well, yes, let me just show you. Uh, this is the scar on the mountainside. This is Sugarloaf Mountain. And the mudslide crashed down here at 6 a.m. on Monday morning. You can see the huge size of the boulders. And it pretty much destroyed everything in this vicinity in its wake. Uh, the houses pretty big here, I have to say. And um, we now know hundreds of people have died. You can see in the valley, uh, it stretches uh, well down there. And I just want to bring in now uh, someone who's been affected by this, someone who's come to try and find his family. Uh, Shuki, tell me why you've come here today. Yeah, I came here this morning just to come and see the devastation caused by this mudslide. I have a relative who used to live in this community, my younger sister and her three children with her husband. But unfortunately, they are all dead. They're all dead. And we're looking at this property just behind you because it's about 30 foot high. Um, and people in this property died. Yeah, exactly. Well, as a result of the mudslide, you see this, this boulder is a very big stone. This boulder came and hit this massive building and it broke. People were under, underground. They died. As you can see, you see the cement and other property, you see. People died in this structure too. A lot of devastation. Thanks very much okay. for speaking to us. Yeah, well, you, uh, there has been a rescue effort ongoing, but the diggers have now fallen silent. Uh, there is no hope, they say, of finding uh, people alive, although some people are certainly hopeful. Uh, we have heard at the local morgue there are hundreds and hundreds of bodies. They're saying around 500. We've seen very graphic pictures of bodies piled up on top of each other, battered and bruised. Some corpses being taken in there in rice bags. And certainly this is a community here just to the west of Sierra Leone, which has been very, very badly affected. Like I say, these huge boulders crashing down on this community here. And many people hopeful of finding res relatives, but as you heard from Shuku there, uh, it seems as the time goes on, we're now almost 48 hours on from when this first happened, uh, the chances of finding anybody alive is very, very slim. And of course, the fact that this happened at six o'clock in the morning, many people were sleeping, people heard the sound of this mudslide crashing down, but they simply couldn't escape. And this community here in Regent certainly very much shaken uh, and Many people are now being taken to a centre uh, where they've had their relatives, of course, many have lost loved ones, and uh, many people still hoping for some positive news. But of course, as the hours goes on, it seems pretty unlikely.